Okay. I've got some four o'clocks, some grass. We have a Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. It's kind of small, getting there. Transplanted some peppers. We'll see how well those do. It's another Brad's Atomic Grape. You can tell it's got purple. Here's another Brad's. It's even got some blooms. And a couple of tomatoes. Here's a nice little bunch down here. And there's one further back that way. Those are my super hots. I believe the last three are Carolina Reapers. Ignore my cups. Planted my basil. I don't remember what kind of squash this is. Big squash. And he's starting to climb. Got a zinnia. And my bean patch. These are dragon tongue bush beans. I'm going to let those dry out. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like something big. Some more beans. These are just regular green beans. I need to pick more of those. This is my borage. Really pretty. I've got a squash growing over there. Oh, that's some big green beans. We've gotten about two gallons worth of green beans. Pick them every other day or so. They're still coming in nice. Another bean patch. And my corn, which is starting to uh, get some tassels. We'll see how that works. Big old patch of sunflowers. That one's gonna open up soon. This is a purple one. Over there on that side, I've got another squash growing. There's actually two plants over there, but I'm just gonna kinda let that go wild. My fig tree. I thought the snow killed it, but it's coming back with one, two, three, four, five, six new shoots. <clears throat> There's my sad little kohlrabi. I'm waiting for some of the seeds to dry out. Like these, these seed pods. I'll have more kohlrabi next year. So I'll probably pull all of these, amend it, and put some more of my plant starts in it. Oh Lord. I need to weed all this out and plant something in it. My daughter's growing potatoes. I need to get rid of that part. Maybe fill it up with some more dirt. It's got some pretty little flowers. That is my aunt's clematis. And I guess I put some type of seeds in the bottom. I don't know why that's growing grass. I need to clear that out. That's my sage from last year. And two okra plants. They're starting to grow okra. Getting pretty tall. Those were flowers, but I don't I didn't drain it well enough. I need to pull this grass out. Here's a little tomato. And then this guy is my Arapaho thornless blackberry bush. Look at all these berries. This one will be ready soon. Planted some zinnias in here. They're doing well. 
This guy I found growing over by a fence that I never planted tomatoes in. And it looks like it's going to be a yellow cherry. Got some there. Got some down there. And these guys. These are my kukuzi squash. They're like cucumbers and zucchinis. They grow like loofahs. Big, massive leaves. And so far, they're doing very well. No fruit yet. But we're working on it. Some more potatoes. There's a rogue tomato plant in here. Some more basil. Chocolate mint this a month ago was about half the size. Rosemary and lemon balm. I just kind of let this do its own thing. This is my fun part of the garden. I'll show you some stuff. Paisley planted a marigold, a tomato, potato, some kind of flower. Another one back there grew parsley. As you can tell, we've been harvesting off of. We even had a little parsley caterpillar come in. Some chard. I need to pick this one. Another big yellow pear cherry tomato. You can see the little tomato starting. There's another bunch down here and down here. And my pretty, pretty purple zinnias. This cucumber has gone absolutely wild. I had to pull it up as it was intertwined with these zinnias. And a tomato plant. It's some type of cherry. Watch it be another yellow pear tomato. Those things go crazy. And there's another one. A little tomato plant that more recently got transplanted. This cucumber has a mind of its own. Going way over there. There's some chard tucked in to the tomatoes. Some more. Yep, it's another yellow pear. This has bachelor buttons. It has some calendula in it. There's a zinnia down there. The bees really love these. Let's look over here. I need to do some weeding, but I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I planted that, so I probably need to just rip it up. Some grass. It's not a pretty garden, but it's pretty to me. Zinnias. I'll show you my favorite one. Oh, look, we got a little honeybee friend. That is my favorite one. The candy cane zinnia. So these are pretty, uh, pretty close second. These bright ones. We've got a couple of cucumbers. There's another one. And it's just climbing up this trellis. That one's about ready to deadhead. You take that off and you save the seeds. It's reaching all over the place. I guess it's the year for cucumbers. dahlias. It's like a little secret garden back this way. My Rose of Sharon has decided that even after being brutally cut back to just take over. Look at how pretty these are.
They're just everywhere. Oh, there's a pretty white one. Let's go look back here in the back. That is a volunteer amaranth. You can eat the grains, you can eat the leaves like a lettuce. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Now I planted it in a strip back here last year. I guess it's the only one that took. That is my little baby. That is a centiflor tomato. And when it really starts going, it's gonna put out hundreds of tiny, tiny, tiny tomatoes. Nasturtium. These kind of taste like radishes and the entire plant is edible. It's a tomato plant. I'm not sure which one. Another bean patch, some grass. And then these guys are massive. They're also volunteers. I did not plant them this year. But they are taking off. I put some rattlesnake pole beans to grow down here. Hoping that there's some little Malabar spinach. Sunflower. I can always tell by the stem. Borage. I planted a lot of borage. The bees like it. Here's a sunflower. And another one back there. But this is just mainly my borage bed. I've got a lot of work to do back here, but a messy garden will still feed you. My roses. I think there's a morning glory going, growing up in there. Look at my wonky little sunflower. Wind knocked it over and it still wants to grow up. I've got peppermint right here. I need to come in and clear out the rest of this and give that peppermint room to just spread everywhere. This, this is a flower of some kind. I'm not sure. I got another little bitty nasturtium here, tomato plant, some clover, a daylily, and some catnip. Let me take a piece of this for my cat so she won't calm down or go crazy and then sleep. Isn't that that's the same sunflower? Good. Got a fern that's trying to come back. There's just a lot of stuff going on back here. Yep, morning glory. Kakuzi gourds. Ooh, it's buzzing. Oh look, there's some mushrooms. And some more mushrooms. And the squirrel dug a hole. And all of this is in bloom, and all of this starts giving us food. We don't have a lot of it.